uh, it's an old car built in 65 and uh, this is what it's all about, this is what I enjoy, the nostalgia drags is where the car should be, um, the supercharged outlaws that I was running in, um, that's my competition for the year, this is what I love doing for the end of the year. This is what it's all about, this is the old style drag racing um, cars and uh, there's a whole bunch of neat cars here today and uh, all different cars that you probably wouldn't see at the normal competition meet so it's an awesome awesome venue and the, the place is packed it's just great how fast you want to go is how much money you want to spend and uh, if you spend it wisely you can have a good time you're, sit you're sitting behind the engine um, you're, you're attached to the car basically and it's just a neat feeling to have it there and looking into it when you're driving it up against Sattler was Aussie legend John Fleming with his equally cool front engine rail. The famous step here is Welcome to the Merry Merry track. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so big block chef, 468 cubic inches, um, blown, 50% overdrive. Um, it's I'm not the mechanical side of things, but pit crew look after that. You, you see these door slammers out here, they're just, they're laying smoke for half the track, which is what the crowd wants. Yeah. Uh, they're different setups, they're different configuration of motor and, and transmission and so forth, and they can do it. Um, and the drag racing's always been the spectacle, the noise, and the participation. Settler v Fleming, Settler on top with a new PB of 8.0. Now, this is New Zealand's fastest ever drag racing machine, Willie White's Nitro Funny Car. This is a uh, Parallax built 125-inch uh, chrome molly uh, funny car built by Grant Downing from uh, Parallax Race Cars in the United States. We run a uh, 498, 498 cubic inch, uh, Brad Anderson Hemi producing around 7,500 horsepower with five disc clutch. And we're just putting it all back together at the moment. Let's go out and, if we can, try and do a low five second pass. Some alcohol cars, very similar chassis, very similar engine, but we use nitromethane and that bumps the horsepower up considerably. When, when you hit the throttle, it's undescribable. Yeah. Yeah. It's a rush. NHRA guys, they've, they've shortened the track down to 1,000 feet to make it a lot safer for the, for the drivers. They're running around 300 miles an hour at 1,000 feet. Our best mile an hour so far is 264. Those guys are running 260, 270 at half track. We're running sort of 220 at half track, so we're a little, we're a little way behind them. Obviously we want, we want nice cool air to um, make the air as dense as we can in the chamber. The, the hotter it is and the more humid it is, the harder it is to make it go down the track. Track conditions are critical, the temperature of the track, air temperature, we work on a whole lot of different variables to, to try and get everything right, but it's a really fine line to, to make the car do what it's got to do and go down the track and run some good numbers. Willie just missed out on improving his PB of 547 with an early shutdown 553 at over 260 miles an hour. That's 420 kilometres an hour, kids. I just saw Willie White drive that Nitro Funny Car down that left lane here at Mary Mary. And he left a couple of bumps here, not too bad. There's a couple of bumps here, but um, I'd be surprised if Mr John Force had beat Mr Willie White down here. He's, um, he, he, that's, that's surprise that he didn't lift. The car drove through all them humps and bumps. And, and just to be able to do that says something for the knowledge they have of the car, the tune-up and his driving ability. So uh, I'm going to go and find him and shake his hand. I think he did a great job. Cars of NZV8 magazine. Wayne Yarbury's Waco Studebaker top door slammer was the fastest in New Zealand with a 6.3. Until recently when Chris Tynan got bragging rights with a 6.22. For a lot of years, this bloke here was unbeatable here at Pukekohe, four-time round winner, and he's still seriously hungry for wins. But is he hungry enough to beat me in a race for a pie? I'll race you for it. Early morning, Ardmore Airport. So, Murph, what are we doing here, mate? 
Well, we, we're, we're trying to trying to make an ad, right, without looking like we're boy racers, basically. <laughs> so far, I think I don't think we've achieved I think, the goal. I, I think we've done a rubbish job of not looking yeah. like boy racers. I, I know this is uh, this is a V8 show, but how are you coping with the uh, the big power of the SV6? Well, you know, it, 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 big V6, you know, it performs all right. You know, you still have to watch the old throttle pedal. Um, what I'm more struggling with is the fact I'm driving a car with a picture of me on the side of it. And yeah, that's, that, that's, that's that's a worry. I've got to drive uh, drive one of these around every day, but at least it doesn't have a picture of my mug down the side. That's right. You, you know, you're a bit of a pie man, so yeah. I am as well. It's good. Oh, we all like our pies. What, what's the story of the ad? We better run them through it. Well, okay. There's, uh, the story of the ad is that uh, you and I um, are. Uh, uh, vying for position to get to the uh, local corner store uh, for the, the Mighty Murph pie, mate. The, the, the last pie in the, the warmer. The last pie currently in the country, I think it is. Now we're having fun. <laughs> no one keeps me from the Mighty Murph, so uh, oh, nice. I think this is going to be a tough race. It is going to be a tough race. It is going to be a tough race. Um, so far, I think we're, we're pretty close. I'll race you for it. Sponsor commitments and endorsements are a big part of a professional V8 driver's life. And making ads are a long and tedious process, but hey, let's be serious. Banging around in someone else's car all day and nearly killing cameramen is uh, hardly hard work. But let's not forget, this is all about who gets the last pie in the shop. We'd better get back to it and um, do some more. Do some more. And um, mate, just, uh, just in case someone's forgotten, what are we on? NZV8 TV. Now, Murph, we've studied the uh, the freeze frame replay, and I reckon my nose was just ahead, mate. You're a cheat, and I think we should race for it again. Them's fighting words. The May issue of NZV8 features Kevin McGregor's stunning Pontiac GTO, a scary fast SLR Tirana, a tough street-driven Camaro, full coverage of the Century Battery NZDRA Nationals, circuit racing with the Central Muscle Cars. And of course, the Beach Hop. Smith's Group, suppliers of leading automotive brands, proudly brought you NZV8 TV. Make sure you join us next week when we're back at Pukekohe and we'll feature one of New Zealand's most iconic V8 circuit racing cars, along with some other really cool V8 NZV8 TV, loving it.